Hey guys, Fred here, AF Math and Engineering. We're coming along with our derivative section. We previously evaluated derivatives using the definition of a derivative as a limit. And we went over that and how that works. We did a few example problems and one more difficult problem actually. And now is the stage where we're going to get into not necessarily, well, I, I guess you can call them shortcuts, but ways of evaluating derivatives that are much quicker and will give you exactly the same thing and you don't have to write out you know 20 lines of algebra and there's just some rules and we're going to start with the easier ones we're going to start with polynomials and we're going to start with exponential functions okay and we're just going to continue along along those lines all right and in the next videos we'll go to our product rule quotient rule chain rule that kind of stuff but for now we're just going to do the simple stuff so let's get started all right i've written two definitions down here so whenever we have a polynomial, okay, so for example, we have like x squared plus two or x squared plus two x plus one, okay? Whenever you have something x to the power of a constant number, okay? What we're gonna do is to take the derivative of that and this, this notation here means d by dx, so the derivative with respect to x, okay? We'll, we'll get into more of that later, but we'll just introduce you to that notation right now and don't worry too much about it. So we have d by dx of x to the n. So we're taking the derivative with respect to x here, okay? And all, we all we're gonna do is we're gonna take this power and we're gonna move it down in front, okay? So we're gonna multiply x by whatever n is. And then after we do that, we're going to subtract one from n. And that's gonna be the derivative. It's as simple as that. So the formula is gonna be n times x to the n minus one. All right, and another one that you, and I didn't include it down here, but one that you just need to memorize forever is that the derivative of the natural exponential function e. So if we have d by dx, so if we're taking the derivative of this function here with respect to x, it's exactly the same thing, it doesn't change. So the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, okay? Keep that in mind. So with that being said, let's, let's, let's apply the power rule to a few questions here and we'll just do them nice and quick so you can get an idea of, of how this kind of works, all right? So the first one we have f of x is equal to one over x squared, okay? So whenever we have a function like this, where the x is on the bottom by itself, we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna move that to the top of the function by making the x exponent here two to the negative. So we're gonna rewrite that as x to the negative two, okay? And now we're in a prime position here to apply our power rule. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to take this n here, which is negative two, and we're gonna multiply that, all right? So we have negative two x, okay? And what is n minus one here? Well, that's a good question. n minus one here, okay, is negative two minus one, okay? So we are left with negative two x to the negative three, all right? And that is our derivative. You can, you can turn it back into a fraction if you'd like, okay? And we are going to call that our f prime of x, okay? So that's the notation that we're, going, that we're going to use. We're going to call this f of x. Okay, so next one. And let me, just, uh, let me just separate these here for you guys so we're not getting confused. Perfect, okay. So let's continue to the second question. And we have f of x is equal to three, the third root of x squared, okay? So, well, how do we write a third root again, if, if you'll recall? Okay, we'll say that we have x squared, okay? And the third root is the same as x to the power of one over three, okay? So we have x squared, and then that, that squared is times one over three, okay? So that gives us x to the power of two over three, right? All right. And how do we continue from there? Well, once again, we just apply the power rule. That's it. And let's go ahead and do that. So we have, moving this down to the front, we have two over three times x to the two over three minus one, okay? And that one can become two over three minus three over three, okay? That's to the power of, and we'll bring that back up here. So we say that our f prime of x, or the derivative of f of x, that's how we're gonna write that, is equal to two over three x to the power of negative one over three. All right, and that is 
the second question solved. Let's move ahead and go to the third question. So we have g of t is equal to two times t to the power of negative three over four, okay? And you know, let's just keep on solving. So exactly the way we've been doing these. So two, we're gonna bring this n here down and we're gonna multiply that by the constant in the front. So we have two times negative three over four t, okay? To the power of negative three over four minus one. Okay, so my one in this case is going to be four over four. All right, and that is equal to, we have two times three is six over four, okay? And if we divide top and bottom by two, we're going to be left with three over two t. All right, perfect. And t minus three minus four is going to give us to the negative seven over four. Okay, so our g prime t, remember our notation, is negative three over two t to the power of negative seven over four. All right. And let's just go through these next ones nice and quickly. So this one's a little bit of a trick, okay? Because if we ever take the derivative of a constant, okay, this is another rule, uh, which means that there's no variable, okay? So if we take the derivative of this with respect to x, so d by dx, that is just going to be zero. The derivative of a constant is always zero. Okay, so f prime x is equal to zero here. Not much to that one. All right, question five. Let's find g prime of x. Okay, so let's go ahead and expand this, all right? Later, I'll sh we can show you how to maybe use a different tool to, to evaluate this, but for now, we're just gonna expand. x squared times negative two x is going to be two x cubed, all right? And we can go ahead and take the derivative of each term separately, okay? So bring the two down, so we're going to have two x and two min to the power of two minus one, okay, which is just one, minus three times two, which is six, x, three minus one is two. And it's as simple as that, all right? Two x minus six x squared. And I will just do the final one because it's fairly quick. And guys, feel free to go back and just do all these on your own or pause the video before I start and try and do it on your own, is we have g of x, so g prime of x, okay? So we have x to the 2.4, so we're gonna bring that 2.4 down, okay? 2.4x and 2.4 minus one is 1 1.4, okay? And here we have e to the 2.4, so e is a number, it represents a number, is it's a constant, and 2.4 is constant, so this whole thing is constant, so that's going to just be zero, okay? So we arrive that the derivative of this function is 2.4 times x to the 1.4. And that is it. So I hope that helped. We solved six fairly simple polynomial and exponential function questions. Come back, we're going to solve some more problems. We're gonna do product rule, chain rule. We're gonna help you through it. Thanks for watching, guys.